Welcome Aries to your numerology reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Guys, let's get in here and see what Spirit has to say to you. Best message please for Aries. And remember friends, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always go watch your uh, Rising Moon or Venus. Okay, best message for Aries please, best message. Happy ending 93 coming out. Nice. Breaking down to three. And then we have 13 breaking down to four. We're talking about that stability of, through that effort. We see the stability within the red over here going straight to the root chakra. So yes, the numerology cards have a lot of chakra meaning. Um, and it's really talking about that. And the purple, of course, over here is talking about that intuition and seeing that happy ending coming through. Knowing that the end is here. Feeling that shift with the nine. Um, and it does feel like you do know that it's almost towards the end over here, my friends. Um, with the happy ending, it's Spirit is allowing you to understand that everything that you've been going through in your life is getting ready to end. Um, you have put in a lot of hard work and effort and really seen yourself through this um, tough time. Um, so whatever feels like, if you do feel like it was impossible to get through, it, it's on its way out. Um, and this is because of all the hard work and dedication that you put through. Um, with the 13 over here showing that you have that just make sure that you keep your attitude exactly where it's supposed to be Don't get frustrated along the process because it is on its way out now Okay, so very beautiful and the happy ending is Talking about clarifying on the two cards in that prosperity with three look at that happy times three three happy ending again talking about that happiness and that harmo uh, and that harmony coming in for the fertility that you want having you know all those prosperities come through and it's showing that all the hard work like I said once before that you put through through the dedication to get to the prosperity so that the ending is happening for your prosperities so your prosperities are coming you will feel much more enriched at the end of the process when the shift completely happens. Um, with the effort over here, you have 18, which is, brings down to nine again. This is confronting. So it does feel like you did some shadow work over here. And if you haven't done your shadow work, go ahead and do some shadow work to confront whatever fears or doubts you may have um, that you don't want to bring into the new cycle, right? Having no doubts, no worries. Um, there's no reason for that. Okay, so let go of whatever does not suit you anymore, digging deep within yourself. Um, anytime we go into a new cycle, we want to make sure that we really confront those things so that we don't want to bring those things into our new beginning. Um, so those are just the extras that are left over that, uh, that Spirit is saying, I really want you to get into your shadow side and confront those. Um, and that's going to be very helpful for your new cycle. And also, you can confront them too, so that way you can make a karmic completion, right? That way you can get rid of that karmic debt, so that way you don't have to face any of the things that you're facing now again, right? By really confronting them and learning about them. The shadow and the fertility. Yes, clearly seeing what it is that you might be holding on to that is no longer, um, we're going to say acceptable or welcome into your lifestyle. Um, right, because you know that you don't want those things there. This is going to help with that self growth um, and understanding to clearly know hey, you know what? I put in a lot of effort and work here, but I really don't want this to stay here. I think I'm going to really 100% confront this so I don't bring it, you know, with me. I don't want to deal with that again, right? And it does feel like there could have been some kind of somebody disloyal to you. Wow, and that's literally to you. Um, and remember also with the page of wands that would be disloyal to yourself to bring those things into a new cycle. So you don't want to have any disloyalties to yourself. But it does feel like there also could have been someone who was disloyal to you, um, who you want to get away from. Well, King of Cups could be an emotional King of Cups over here. But make sure that you're perceiving um, what it is that you really want 
um, and really taking authority for that for your for, for your future. And if you did have a Pisces who was disloyal to you, you might want to consider um, the forgiveness and saying, you know, I don't want that anymore. Um, I can see what I need to do for myself and, you know, I'm not going to allow your energy to um, disrupt my life anymore, right? And really, wow, look at that manifesting on that with the magician and allowing that manifestation to come through. And then this is going to give you even more kind of a purity um, and it does feel a little more pure, um, to say the least, right? Because now you get to manifest and moving and taking action um, towards where you need to be and keeping your securities high and not allowing them to work on your energy anymore. So very nice. It's like, even if you, you know, are getting past someone and you know that you're having a happy ending and it's like, yes, we're out of here, um, you know, but maybe they still kind of, their energy still kind of uh, bound to your, your energy, right? So you really want to kind of let that go. Okay, and let's see what your soul wants you to do now. Love. I am wonderful. I receive and give love today and always. Nice. And that will give you love. And look at that freedom. And it's going to free you. Yes, it's going to free you from any energy that they, you feel like maybe they're um, kind of a vampire on, right? Allowing their energy to feed off of you. Um, you're going to allow that, that boundless freedom surges through me. And I do not need to take your energy um, with me. I am now free. Very beautiful. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.